Hey friends, it just started pouring down rain, but I don't mind because we are talking plants, flower arrangement today. And maybe you are a blushing bride-to-be and you feel like you have a storm, a torrential storm of decisions that you are making. And you know, there is a thing called decision fatigue. I love the story about Steve Jobs. He had a closet full of clothes, but they were all pretty much the same outfit. I think the same outfit, right? His classic turtleneck, because he did not want to make yet another decision because he was a busy executive, right? And so decision fatigue can happen if you are a bride. You know, you have to pick out all the the bridesmaids outfit the bride your dress and as soon as you put that ring on your finger you have all these decisions and you don't want the quality of your decisions to deteriorate just because of the sheer number of decisions that you're making so i love this inspiration maybe you are just a simple elegant heart and you believe in simplicity timeless elegance and that is our inspiration for today so yes we are still doing budget flowers but we never want to scrimp on the beauty because you can still do a gorgeous elevated beautiful look on a budget so the uh, inspiration for this is pure elegance whenever you are envisioning a, um, a, a flower design, think of a word or two like elegant or pure, whatever, uh, to kind of jog your uh, creativity muscles. So I started out at uh, Publix um, and I found these gorgeous gladiolas. Aren't they not stunning? So if you want a super, that's a heavy base, if you want a super elegant, look for an affordable price, uh, go with something tall. See how tall? In most of these, I bought these last night. How many stems are there here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10, 10 stems, okay. And they were $5.99, $5.99 for all 10 stems. Uh, out of curiosity, I went online last night and another seller was selling, I believe it was 19 stems for $55. Okay, I don't know, I'm not really great at math, but I know that's a whole lot more um, than $5.99. So if you want a simple, elegant look, this is actually the piece that inspired it all. And really, if you wanted to make all of your arrangements of uh, gladiolas, done right and it would look gorgeous put one on every table everyone's going to have a wonderful time and you're done but this was kind of the springboard um for of course i love trader joe's i have my trader joe's haul and i'm simply going to tell you what i got and then we will get on to arranging so of course if you are going elegant go with the roses you can go with the white roses but I think a higher petal count, you are going to get a much more elegant, romantic look. So the Garden Rose uh, has a lot more petals. It has more of a lush, luxurious feel uh, versus your regular classic rose. So that's why I opted for that one. Although, yes, they do have thorns and part of me is like, ah. Oh, why didn't I go with the other, but at the end, it'll be worth it, right? Okay, then we have these little, I think they look like little white carnations. Again, if you don't want your, if you want your flowers to last a very long time, do not believe the stereotype that carnations are bad, because they're not. Um, these are actually called, I don't, Di Dianthus mini. Looks like a carnation variety to me. But they have lots of little blooms, lots of little buds, and you have that green and white uh, color scheme. So again, when you're going elegant, just do all white and green and voila. It is instant, instant beauty. 
I was just tickled to find dahlias at the Trader Joe's. They had three in the white and I picked up two. Um, and I would always say a couple of these, they're a little bit bruised, just slightly. Um, and there was one that I did not even get because it was a little bit more bruised. So um, if you want um, a kind of ornate, organic luxury, I mean, I don't know if organic, but ornate flower, pick up a couple of bunches, especially if it's an event because you want quality flowers. Okay, and then we went on to, um, they had tons of hydrangeas. Um, I probably should have even gathered another bunch, but I got one of the white, one of the green shamrock, and then we picked up some elegant greenery, and I was delighted because they had the very, very tall uh, premium greenery for like $3.99. So um, I will be back, and we will start arranging our elegant design. Hey, we are back and we are all about pure elegance, pure, simple elegance. So if you want that timeless classic look and you don't want to spend a whole lot, pick out really quality flowers. Like I said, these are from Trader Joe's and slow down when you are creating the biggest piece of advice if you are doing this as a floral arrangement party which is a big trend right now with your bridesmaids let the creative process take over and slow down take the pressure off put music on the background and just have fun so i have what you may want to do is start off with some faux flowers um, and you can always use this as a creative spinoff um, for your fresh flowers. If you want to keep it super, super simple, um, I thought this was a fun look. I have this oversized bubble base. And I just kind of crisscrossed. These are actually white dahlia stems and roses. And plop this in the middle of a table um, with a tablecloth of lace like this. Kind of that old fashioned bridal ivory lace, right? Um, and also the big trend is uh, cheesecloth runners, which I think it has that kind of net feel to it, but cheesecloth or lace, always a classic look, right? Um, so that's really, really fun. If your bridesmaids are doing it and you really love them, but you don't have a ton of trust to put every creative instinct in their hands, then you may just want to do something simple like this. Of course, take all the leaves off the roses, all the thorns, um, first and then just crisscross them in a very large jar. So today though we are, uh, I have crisscrossed some tape on this mirrored piece. Whenever you add mirrors to anything, it always increases the elegance. Uh, think about if you are designing um, like an interior design, like I've seen a uh, expert interior design stars, they'll put a mirror in a room to make the space appear larger and reflective. The same when you are designing uh, these beautiful floral arrangements. So we, a lot of people start off with the greenery and I think we are going to just take these large, elegant, tall, swoopy pieces. Again, our gladiolas have a lot of length to them. So we are going, this one's kind of wide. I should have thought about the crisscross. See, it's not really gonna fit. So I'm gonna take a smaller one. Let's take a couple smaller ones. Okay, so think about the shape of your vessel. This one has four sides. So we are gonna play off the corner little angle right here 
I'm gonna put in one, two, and three. There we go. Voila, and we have this lovely kind of swan-like, whimsical design to start us off with. Okay, um, and this one in the corner too is kind of, you might kind of fight with it, so you have to keep playing around. Ah, I like that better, okay. So, um, don't feel like you have to use all of your flowers all at once. Uh, a lot of times I feel like pressure, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is pretty, this is pretty, and you don't want to use all of them all at once. So, why don't we just start off with the dahlia? Um, because to me, this is a very, uh, if you look at each petal, it's, it's very organic uh, looking, very pristine, and it has a designer look. So decide how tall, you know, I'm not sure, you know, again, you can always take a little length off, but once you do it, that's it, right? So let's see how this looks. We have this piece right here. I'm gonna come around so I can see. You almost need that lazy Susan, right? So you can come around and see. Okay, all right, I like that. Let's just start off with the triangle. We're gonna take like three. Look how this one has a little bud at the top. And to me, that makes it all the sweeter, all, because that's probably going to open up. So we're gonna cut this. And we're gonna add this one off to maybe right here. Let's we'll see, this one is taller, so let's swoop this one over here so we have a little more height in the back. And then again, we're just gonna do the triangle to keep it simple and easy. So I'm gonna take one more and we're going to put this one off to the side right here. There we go. How's that look to y'all? How's it look? Oh, it's looking lovely. Let's angle it, angle it right there. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna take one of these shamrock hydrangeas. Feeling the shamrock hydrangea. And ooh, that is super lovely. What if we juxtaposed two of them? One on each side. You know, with hydrangeas, I've noticed you want to have, always buy a little overage, especially if it's an event, because you want the quality. This one's nice and round. Okay, so we're gonna take two of these. I'm gonna start off with this one. We're gonna snip it. Snip, snip. And kind of off to an angular snip you want. So the water, this has floral food in it already. Okay, we're gonna pluck off some of these leaves. Plucking off the leaves. There we go. I love the shape of hydrangea leaves. I just think they're fun. Okay, and you may wanna leave some leaves, but you know, not all of them. Okay. You know, play around with it. I kinda like it spilling over the side like that. Let's see how that's looking. Oh, guys. Yeah, you gotta rearrange it, right? That doesn't work at all. Let's try it in the middle. Let's try it in the middle. The good thing with water arrangements is if you change your mind about something, you can always take it right out. Whereas with floral foam, really, you want to kind of play around with it first because you're kind of committed. Um, once you put that in the foam, it'll you really don't want to move it around too much. Okay, so I kind of like that in the center. Yeah, I like that in the center. That looks great, right in the center. But, you know, I think, there we go. I don't want it to hide the other piece. So we're gonna angle it like that. Very, very good. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I want to go ahead and add a few of these delicate mini carnations uh, because 
I think it needs a little frill. I think it needs a little frou-frou. So let's take a piece and, you know, we want to give it um, a little visual interest, a little texture. You want to kind of play around with small buds and bigger buds. Some people say, hey, you know, you have to put that greenery in first. I think in, embrace the creative process. Some people like to put the flowers in first. But, you know, let's keep a little bit of symmetry here. Let's do it what we have on this side. Let's echo it on the other side so we have a little bit of rhyme and reason. Kind of like a song, right? You have your lyrics and you have that repeating chorus throughout the song and it just gives it anchor and center and stability. Okay, so y'all, can y'all see past these roses here? Okay, so we're going to cut this one. Oh, these little buds. Okay, and pull off this one right here. Oh, lovely. Okay, I love that. That is looking good, looking, looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now I want to take some of this really beautiful lacy. To me, it looks like little sweet peas, but there are, it's another delicate greenery. I do not know the names of all of these because again, I am not a florist. We are just embracing the creative process. I knew this guy somewhere out of our way temporarily love the roses love the roses but i'm moving them over guys moving them over okay so we can see what we're doing okay so this lacy piece of greenery again with the textures look how delicate look how we have this nice waxy strong structured swoopy swan like piece and then we have this really delicate oh how beautiful and y'all see i am organically going along with you and that makes it so much more fun oh see how this kind of curls over like so oh Yay! I love it. I love it. Okay, and again, we're going to echo it on the other side. Um, we're going to fill in some gaps. We're going to get another one of these. Always buy lots of greenery or get some in your yard, but make sure that it is free of spiders because a little spider was on my greenery from the yard, a little garden spider, and I had to get them off first. Okay, so... That looks good. I like the layered look like that. I think that looks really nice. And hmm, <laughs> what to do now? Y'all, I think I'm gonna have to go with those gorgeous roses. They just belong in this bouquet. So with the gorgeous, gorgeous cottage roses, we do not want our leaf gunk and please be careful for thorns. I pre-cut some of the thorns off the others, but of course I grabbed the one with the thorns. Why? Because when you scotch tape your grid with your floral tape or scotch tape, some of the thorns are going to compete with that tape and they're not going to want to go in properly. So let's see, we're gonna take off these leaves See, that one's already kind of gunky. You don't want to gunk up your water. Oh, does that not look, y'all, does that not look like a bridal gown? Like how velvety, soft, layered, like layered tulle. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna do a few of these. Again, probably like at least a triangle to start off with. Okay, so I snipped some, oh, I'm loving the corner, but to give it a little bit more, yeah, right there. Right there is perfect. And then we're going to add one right here, and then we're gonna add a little taller one right here. Okay, let me grab my 
flowers. Let me grab this one. Right here, so pretty. You know, roses are such a classic. If you're going elegant, classic, again with the roses, go with it, go with it. Okay, so remember when you're creating pieces, you want to always have a little symmetry. Okay, this one's a little taller. Let's do our triangle. We're gonna do that one in the back. Put, oh, I like that one right there again with the height so we can see this one all around. And then we are gonna go with one more rose right here. Okay, how about this one? Okay, so see this petal that it's flopping? We don't want that. So we just take it right off. There we go. And taking the leaves off. Okay. Put him in the corner right here. Okay, I like that kind of a little bit shorter. Um, I like it like that because it echoes. Actually, no I don't. I'm gonna put him right in front because he's a little bit shorter. Okay, move them over. There we go. And I think, what does it need right here? It needs some filler. So if you see two large pieces together, you're going to want, um, I almost got, it's called St. John's Wort. It's white berries. And those would be very, very beautiful, especially if you were doing a winter wedding. Um, but we're going to add a little bit of this right here in the front. Oh, yes. Oh, y'all, that is so lovely. And we're just gonna keep filling this in with more and more of this. Don't you love how this echoes? If you have one piece, you may want to play off the other pieces um, with the long leaves so that it is cohesive for your design. Okay. All right, so let's see. Add a little more sprig right there, and then we're just gonna keep filling in the gaps. You know, though we probably should add one more dahlia. Again, when you have the stems, you're going to want to trim them on the ends you may even notice a little rim of brown uh, from them sitting in the water, and we do not want that at all. So we want to make sure that we snip it off so it's a hollow straw, so it can soak up all that beautiful floral food. Okay, so let's add, probably in the corner right here, this other gorgeous piece. Oh, I like that there. That is so gorgeous, y'all. So, so pretty. And you know, I see a big gap right here. So I'm gonna add another, another rose. Again, any petals that are flyaways, like your hair's blown down in the convertible every which way, you want to take those off prior to putting those in. And then we have a few little thorns on these, huh? Okay. Cut that. And let's see, where does this one go? Where does he go? Probably back here. Bad. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And you know, you know, I think it needs another hydrangea. Like it back here on this other side, to echo because you're gonna walk all the way around. And I think I'm gonna take one of the white hydrangeas because I have one green right here and I don't want there to be too much. So we're gonna take one big bushy white hydrangea, put it on the other side and then add a little bit of filler and I think we're gonna call it done. Okay, 
Look how pretty this one is. I hate to take all these leaves off. Oh. You know, I read an article uh, my mom sent me about hydrangeas to keep them preserved longer. You actually um, can put hairspray on them. So I thought, wow, is that not a wonderful, wonderful tip? Um, so that was really fun. I've not tried that, so I can't tell you if it works but apparently it does okay here's another one oh yes that's exactly please if you're getting big you know you want kind of a shape please get hydrangeas they're just going to help you out they are especially for an elegant look okay y'all i think that's gorgeous what do we need what do we need hmm we need a little bit more greenery okay We'll get another piece and we're just going to fill it in right here because if you want that nice wispy kind of organic look oh look at that see and it looks like ribbon lace oh that's so gorgeous y'all and then i have another one another mirrored piece so we'll do another one but that was so much fun Look how gorgeous that turned out. I have one more gap right here. So I'm gonna have to take one more of these gorgeous, gorgeous dahlias. And I love that this one has a little bud coming up. Okay, put this one right here. Oh, we are done. Okay, let me show you the final product. Look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous. We created this together. How easy was that? I've never done it. But I think when you do green and white together, it gives a nice, elegant, elegant look. Again, if you wanted to kind of add some lighting, you can always echo the mirror with a lantern. Um, get one of these candles. Don't you love that they have the flameless LED candles? And you can... Whatever you get one of, just repeat it. So there's lots throughout the room for an elegant, elegant, pure, simple look. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got some creative ideas. I believe that you can do it. Believe in stepping out and having fun. And thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much. I have so much fun creating with you.